questions. I see there's a whole bunch of you waiting on here because I just pulled out my iPad. Yep, got it. Now I'm wondering how do I make it? Oh, I just wrecked it. Hang on. <laughs> I thought I was doing so well. <laughs> oh, it says I have no connection. That's great. Okay, here we go. And yay, I got it. Okay. I was like, I thought I was doing so good and then I wasn't. Okay, who's ready for bingo tonight? My goodness, I see so many of you on here already. We have, now what happened to my, okay, I need to open the app so I can see the comments. Here it comes. Oh, there you guys are. Yay, it's 110 in the Tri-Cities, Washington. Oh my goodness, that is insane. I have to tell you, um, I've got a little fan on over here because I was dripping wet today. Holy cow. It's just very humid here and it was it wasn't all that, I don't think it was really that warm. It's just super humid in Wisconsin. So I was stripping wet and uh, yeah, maybe a little bit too much information. Um, I found out from Haley earlier today that I am babysitting tonight and I'm actually keeping Val overnight. I don't know. She said that she had asked me about it and I'm like, why would I agree to that? I have bingo on Wednesday nights, so... I don't know. Maybe she just made it up because she couldn't find somebody to watch her. They have kickball tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think she'd do that. Well, maybe she would. Anyways, um, bingo fun happening tonight. I have some fantastic cards for you. I want to, let's see. I'm going to grab my goodies here. Got my cards all ready to go. Um, tonight with your bingo packets. For those of you that ordered bingo packets, and if you didn't order a bingo packet, maybe next time you wanna order a bingo packet because they're a lot of fun and they come with some fun products and you're gonna get a card pack with um, five cards. So there's gonna be layers cut, um, embossed layers, die cut layers, everything that I'm gonna be making for you tonight comes in a pre-cut cardstock pack. And then I also put a bunch of product in it. So you guys ready to see what you're gonna get tonight? I'm super excited. Well, this isn't really exciting, but we all need them. I've got a pack of dimensionals, holiday rhinestones, yay! Oh, let me hold those up a little bit longer. Pretty, pretty, pretty. You're also going to get, I believe I put um, envelopes in here this time. I wrote it down someplace. So I've also ordered envelopes. You'll get five Stampin' Up! envelopes. They're such good quality. You're going to love them. And last but not least, a full pack of our um, rainbow glimmer paper. Look at this beautiful glittery paper. It is so pretty. It's going to be cut to six by six so I can ship it to you. But you're going to get all of that with your five pre-cut cards. So super fun. Now, if um, I have everybody's numbers here, so if you don't have your numbers, please make a comment. I'm gonna take my glasses off because I, I can't read. <laughs> I can read without my glasses, isn't that crazy? Um, if you forgot your numbers, please um, message, make a comment on here. If you're for some reason watching and you're not able to comment, um, you need to sign into your YouTube account because you have to be signed in to make a comment just in case somebody says something naughty that they can kick you off. They make you sign in so you can comment. Um, but if you don't have your numbers, leave a comment here. Connie Piasecki is my, oh, what did I call her last time? I don't know, but I'm going to call her my bingo queen this time. And she helps me out. Um, verifying winners and um, also will help you out with your numbers. So that's cool. Okay, what else did I want to tell you? Today is June 30th. It is the last day for our JJ Mini catalog. So just so you guys know that. Also, here's our new one. This is going to be our, it's called July through December, but it doesn't start until August for customers. Um, the Suez Canal really messed up shipping, and so there's a lot of backlog. 
and Stampin' Up! knew that our product wouldn't be in the warehouse in time to launch this for July, which is when it was supposed to launch. So we just pushed it back a month. This is going to run, I think, on August, August 3rd. Oh, that's what it says on the back. I don't know. Anyways, um, but if you'd like to join my team and become a discount shopper, we can order from this starting July 1st. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, so, I know, isn't it funny that I don't know those dates? Like, there's so much in this head. I can't remember stuff. Um, but if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to get a copy of this catalog or a copy of our big catalog, let me know. I'd be happy to mail them to you. It's what I do. I'm nice like that. Also, starting July 1st, designer series paper sale. Oh my goodness, we have Beauty of the Earth, Bloom Where You're Planted, Hand Penned, In Good Taste, In the Wild, Pansy Petals, Sweet Symmetry, Tidings of Christmas, and Your A Peach designer series paper is all 15% off. So you wanna stock up on that starting July 1st. Now, all of my product for these bingo packets are coming in on Friday. And so I will be getting all my cardstock cut. So when that product gets here, I am able to get your kits out to you. Hopefully, um, Friday or Saturday morning. I just want to let you know that I had a little problem where I forgot to order something. So, yeah. And um, peach kits are going out in the morning if you ordered one of those. I'm excited. I got them all packaged up. When we're done with bingo, I'm going to put mailing addresses on them. Posted shipping labels, I should say. And then the other one is the turtle kit, and I will be working on that also, and hopefully get that out in the next couple days. So yay me! Um, we went to Great America on Monday. Holy cow, we put on 26,000 steps, which is almost 11 miles. And can I just say that I think I'm getting old because every fiber of my body hurt, and my ankles are all swollen up. You wanna see? Look at, I have fat feet and fat ankles and fat legs. So, yeah, it's not pretty, people. <laughs> we had a blast, though. We didn't stand in line for more than 15 to 20 minutes, and sometimes you can wait in line for an hour to an hour and a half for those big rides. And Raging Bull, still my favorite roller coaster. Okay, I think that we should be ready to roll. Let me make sure that I haven't seen any problems. Yes. Oh, Tina needs her numbers, so Connie got them. I hope you had a wonderful dinner, Connie. Connie was going out to eat with family tonight, and then she said she would be back in time to be our bingo. What did I call you last time? My bingo master? I don't know. That sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? A little risque. Don't go there. Okay, I am going to get all the stuff out for my first card here tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these guys. Now, you had the option to order the Biggest Wish stamp set. Can I just tell you, if you don't have this and you didn't order it, you need to get it because it is the coolest stamp set. I love, love, love it. Um, can you share resources? Okay. Oh, no, never mind. I'm finding notes all over the place. I should have cleaned up a little bit better. Okay. I think we're ready to start making a very pretty card. What was it? Oh, I was going to use Coastal Cabana. So hang on. I got to grab that from a different basket here. Okay. We're ready. Are you guys ready? Like, oh, Kelly, shut up and play bingo. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to make a card and then play a game of bingo. Make a card, play a game of bingo. What happens is, for those of you that may be new, when we do play the bingo, you're going to... Oh, well, I'll just wait until we play bingo and I'll explain that. But anyways, our prizes... Oh, I called her my bingo boss. That's what I called Connie. I like that. Like a boss. Um, first prize for bingo is a $50 gift certificate towards Stampin' Up! product from me. Second prize is $75, third prize is $100, and fourth prize, $150. Woohoo! We've got a lot of giveaways happening tonight. So I'll explain bingo when we get to it. For right now, we are going to start stamping. So hang tight. Hope I don't mess anything up. By the way, if we happen to get... Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, you guys. 
I've got a little problem here. I tightened up my my holder and I didn't realize I was tightening up something that I shouldn't have. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I hope whoa. I hope nobody's getting sick. Good lord. <laughs> okay, hang on. There we go. <laughs> Whew. All right. Always an adventure. Always an adventure with Kelly. Just know that. Okay. If anybody needs to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. This is a brand new host code. I just loaded it up tonight. So, okay. And who just said they've never tuned into bingo? How do I get numbers? Sandra, I'm so happy you're here. So what you're going to do is on my blog, you'll find um, a bingo, a cards and bingo graphic when you scroll down once you go to my blog here. And bingo registration will open up probably on July 7th for bingo, which will be happening on July 28th. So you can't get numbers for tonight, but you pick numbers one, you pick five numbers, one through 25, and then we play bingo in between card making. But I'm so glad you're here for our card class. Okay, first card. I'm gonna have all the dimensions for you guys with pictures of these, and I will um, send that out in a PDF file so you know what to do when you get your um, packet in the mail. And also the video link will be in there so you can rewatch this if you need to to make your cards. We've got basic black, five and a half by eight and a half. And, and I see, is Michelle new too? Oh, I'm so excited to have new people on tonight. Bingo's really fun, but you do get a card class included. So that's really a lot of fun. Then you're going to grab, now you're gonna get a pack, like I said, of this rainbow glimmer paper, okay? So you're gonna cut whatever pattern you would like. And we're going to, this is four by five and a quarter. And then we have a basic white layer that is three and a quarter by four. And then we've got another piece of basic black that's two and a quarter by five. And then an inside layer, four by five and a quarter. Okay, oh, and I had a little strip left over of the um, rainbow glimmer paper. So this is just half inch by four. And I think what we're gonna do there is we're just going to add this to our four by five and a quarter inside layer. So I'm gonna just do that right away and get that over with. So I like to use liquid glue. Everybody has their own preference for um, their adhesive, but I really, really, really like this liquid glue. We sell this, it's $4 a bottle, and it lasts forever. And we're gonna put this right in here. Somebody says they're getting a blurred screen. Janice, I think it's probably your internet streaming. I am watching this video on my iPad right here and my screen is not blurred at all. So I'm really sorry about that. That's, ugh, I hate it when stuff like that happens. Now we're gonna take this layer, this little layer of black that is two and a quarter by five. I'm going to grab my paper snips and I'm going to cut up right in the center of this about a quarter of an inch or so. And then I'm gonna come in from each pointy corner and go to the end of that cut. And this is how you just make a really nice little banner. And it's gonna be very shallow, okay? So I can add this right to the front of our glimmer paper. And that looks pretty centered to me. It looks good to you. I think it looks pretty good. Now we're gonna do a little stamping, okay? And I have another um, color variation to share with you too. So that'll be fun. I always like to do that. First thing we're gonna do is um, the biggest wish. You have thanks, happy, hello, friend, and birthday. And then you also have them in kind of a cursive writing and these three little plus symbols just for some decoration. So I'm gonna use the thanks, but you could definitely use any one of the um, sentiments in here to make this card. I've got Coastal Cabana ink, and I'm going to 
stamp on my white layer just like that. I'm gonna stamp again, just like that. And again, just like that, okay? And because it's photopolymer and you can see through the rubber, that's what the name of this rubber is, photopolymer, it makes it super easy to stamp things in a straight line. Now, if you don't have a lot of confidence in doing that, you could use a Stamparatus. And this would be a Stamparatus, it's a positioning tool, and you could put that stamp on here and stamp it using the hinge stamping method. I showed that on one of my videos recently. Okay, so there's our thanks. And then I'm going to come in with some Memento ink with the friend. And we're gonna stamp that friend right over the thanks. Look how cute that is, right? Now, how simple was that? It's super, super simple. I'm just looking at your comments here. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, you guys, for sharing to Facebook. One thing I always forget to say is to make sure you ring that bell. I think on YouTube, you ring the bell. That's how YouTube works. I really appreciate the bell ringing also. Thank you, Judy. Okay, now I'm going to take the black marker and I'm going to flick some black ink at this layer. So what I've done is I have just, I want to make sure I get in here, put a whole bunch of little speckles on there and it kind of tones down all that white. And then, let's see, I need to find, uh-oh, I might have to open up some dimensionals. I think I'm going to have to. Where did I go with those? Oh, these are happen to be included in your kit. Well, these aren't going to be because I'm going to open them now, but I'm going to open up some dimensionals. I know I had my dimensionals out here, but whatever. It's not like I won't use them. We're going to mount this on dimensionals because everything's better when it's mounted on dimensionals, right? And then where's my take your pick tool? I can't live without it. Oh, here it is. I like to use my take your pick tool to pick off those backings, just like that. Boom. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right up here. What do you guys think? Isn't it cute? Ah! And then, now, when you get your cardstock pack, you're gonna have the white layer, the black layer, the black layer, the white layer. You're gonna have to cut your own rainbow glimmer paper. So just know that. And last but not least, of course we need some of these gems. Let's see what colors. I'm gonna use one of these, put one right there. And how about, I'm just gonna stick with the, um, ones that match. I think I'll go right there. Look at that. Add some jewels. Make it pretty. Yay! Okay, there is our first card. Super simple. And let me clean my stamps off. I've got a chamois here for those of you that may be unfamiliar with it. The chamois, you just... Um, you rinse it out in the sink. It's a floppy thing. I just put it in an empty stamp case. You can buy these. They come in packs of three or four. But that's what I use to clean my stamps, and it works fabulously. All right. Let me show you the other one. Here we go. Look at that. I used Melon Mambo for this one, and I used the red rhinestones and the um, yellow rhinestones. Yeah, isn't that pretty? I better get another light on here. There we go. So, did I tell you that my friend Rachel is here watching Val <laughs> while well, I'm doing bingo because I didn't realize I was supposed to be watching her tonight? Yeah. Okay, bingo. Are you ready? Who's ready? Get ready for bingo, people. Let me set these aside. And we'll put that right over there. Okay, this is how bingo works. I'm going to draw numbers. We'll do the first one right away. Here comes the number nine. Nine. If you picked a number nine in your five numbers, you are going to type into the comments B and hit enter. 
Now, if I pick another number and you have that one also, you're gonna type in B-I. So that when we get to the end, you're gonna type in B-I-N-G-O. The first person who has bingo coming up here on my screen is going to win. If we have anybody else that comes in after that first person, you will win a consolation prize. So it's a win-win situation tonight with cards and bingo. And our next number, 24. Who's got a 24? We've got a nine and a 24. Do we have a B-I, B-I, B-I? Next up is number 11. Do we have any B-I-Ns? Ooh, I see Kathy Shaming's got a B. Yvonne's got a B-I. Jana's got a B-I. Debbie's got a B-I. Ooh, we got a lot of B-I's. That's awesome. Next up, number one. Who's got a one? Any B-I-Ns? Come on, you guys. Come on. B-I-N. Let's see it. There's a B-I-N. Shauna's got one. Woohoo! Sherry's got one. Yeah. Okay, number 19. Number 19. Where's my funny hands? Oh, I gotta have my, I'll get my, my little um, unicorn out too. We gotta have our tiny hands, right? Comes another one. I almost forgot. 16. Woo! -hoo! Who's got a 16? Let's go. 16. Woohoo! <laughs> You knew people are going to think we're absolutely insane, but we do know how to have a good time. Here we go. Number four. I see Janice has a B-I-N. Go, Janice. Come on, Sandy. You can do better than a B. I could work at the fair, Diana says. Ooh, Yvonne's got a B-I-N-G. Way to go. Yeah, I know. They'd love me, wouldn't they? There was a really funny kid at Great America yesterday, 21, 21, and he was making all kinds of funny comments before he would send us off to our death on a roller coaster. He like worked at the thing and he'd be like, I hope you come back alive and stuff like that. It was really funny. Woohoo. Here we go. Number 18. Do we have a B-I-N-G? Who's got it? Who's got it? Boom, boom, boom. Janice's got a B-I-N-G. <laughs> Tracy says her numbers aren't in the bucket. Let me shake that bucket up, Tracy. Doggone it. I don't think any of them moved. There we go. They did it. We're gonna, we're gonna rattle the cage here. Ooh, Jackie's got a B-I-N-G. Are you ready? 14. Who's got a 14? Who's got a 14? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I should move this off that finger. It's my naughty finger. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mary Lynn says her numbers don't get called even when she's not playing. Well, at least it's all fair, right? <gasps> Who's got bingo? Yvonne! Yay! Yvonne's got bingo. Okay, let's do a check on that. Where'd my bingo list go? Here we go. Yay, Yvonne. Yay, Yvonne. Here we go. Four, oops, oops, four, nine, 14, 19, and 24. Yep, you got it. Woohoo! Way to go, girlfriend. You are going to be the winner of a $50 gift certificate. Now, um, just know that we can't order out of that new holiday catalog until August. So you're going to want to, um, I don't know what you're going to need, but find something in the regular catalog. I am looking. Oh, who else? Did somebody else have bingo? Yvonne. Where's Yvonne? Oh, no. Yvonne is our winner. Somebody said Yvonne had, had it first. Did someone else get bingo? I didn't see anybody else get bingo. Okay, so we don't have any consolation prizes, right? Connie? Connie writes this all down for me so that I don't have to pay that close of attention. <laughs> Bless her heart. Okay, let's get these numbers back in here. We're going to mix those up really, really good. I'm going to press... Get them all mixed up. Okay, here we go. Are we ready to stamp again, ladies and gentlemen? We might have some. We might have some men on here. 
It's happened before. Oh, Yvonne, I gotta give you one of these. What? Yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, next. <laughs> um, let's see, what are we gonna do now? I think we are going to do, next, next card, I have to write, let's see, this was card number one. Oh, we gotta do, let me do, where's my pencil? Card number two, here comes, oops, I'll do that, that'll be number three. This is gonna be number two. All right, here we go. Who's ready? I know I'm ready. Here comes all our bits and pieces. We have crumb cake, early espresso, basic white, basic white, and um, rainbow glimmer. And then I used this die. I'm just reading your comments. Where did my dies go? This is from the Tasteful Something dies. Oh, I had them out here at one point. And, well, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Who knows where this is coming from? <laughs> Shouldn't be that hard. I got too much stuff on my desk. Huh. Interesting. Oh, here they are. <laughs> they were in the basket. These are the Tasteful Label dies, and there's a whole bunch of different labels in here. And we're using this one right here. And I love it because these have stitching. Some of them have stitching, some of them have lines. They're pretty cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, we are going to be using the Nothing's Better Than and the um, love you more than dies. So these are separate now, but they're in our an annual catalog. And this is just an incredibly fabulous stamp set. So if you do not have this, I highly recommend it. There are so many cute sentiments in here and the dies are just amazing. Okay, we're going to take our crumb cake card base this is just standard size half a sheet of cardstock, and we're gonna burnish that edge good. And then this, oh, I don't know what the, oh, I know what this layer is for. This layer we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on, and this is a scrap. So, where's my stamps? We got this and this. Here comes our stamps. This is a huge stamp set, you guys. 26 stamps in here and then this has one two three I don't know how many dies it has it has a lot of dies let me look and see what it says um, nine different dies and I've got them all cut out here for you so it's pretty cute and I don't think this will ever go out of style very kind of retro looking all right we are going to take our crumb cake ink first off and the cookie outline. Make sure that I've cleaned these. And I'm just going to stamp that with the crumb cake ink all over this layer. Okay, that looks pretty darn good. Now, I'm only stamping over here because we're gonna take this rainbow glimmer paper two and a half by five inches. Aw, Mary, Emilio says, have a nice night. Her internet is messed up. I'm sorry, Mary, that stinks. Huh, and Shannon, I'm sorry, Sharon, made cards with this set last night. Well, great minds must think alike, right? Okay, so we're gonna just put this right on the edge of this layer. Now, I've got Oh, by the way, this was three and three quarters by five. And then the glimmer is two and a half by five. And now I've got early espresso that is four by five and a quarter. And I am going to add this layer. Oops, let's see if I let's see if Kelly can get it on here straight. There we go. Okay. And then where did my label go? 
huh? Did it fall on the floor? It did not. Isn't that, oh, here it is. I'm gonna say, I already die cut this out of a crumb cake scrap. So I was looking for that, like, where did that go? And we are going to need, let's see. I don't know why purple's in there. I need early espresso ink. <clears throat> So we use crumb cake on the cookies, and now we're going to use early espresso. So I'm going to stamp one of those cookie outlines in early espresso right on here, and then I'm going to come in and do the two-step stamping with the background image. I love two-step stamping because it makes it super, super easy. You don't have to color a thing. Look at how cute that is, okay? And then we are going to die cut that with the cookie die. Let's see, it's right here. Oh, hang on, technical difficulties. There we go. Here's our cookie die. So we're gonna die cut that. And then we're also going to grab the cookies. This is the cookies word. And we are going to use a scrap. And I gotta find a scrap here. Oh. Hang on, you guys, I'm coming. I don't know where my paper went. I just put it away today. find my glimmer paper any place but we have this um, I'm going to use the blue and I'm going to die cut cookies okay so I'm gonna make it be very um, variegated with the different colors I've already done that and here's my cookies isn't that cute and then once we die cut that cookie here's what we have too now let me put this away so I don't lose it. Where did that glimmer paper go? Doesn't that make you crazy? I put it away today and now I can't find it. So that's what you get for putting stuff away. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use today's plan. Today, oh, no, that's not it. Today's plan, consume. So we're gonna do that with early espresso. I'm gonna stamp that right there. And we're gonna add our cookies word. Oh, I know what I did too. I did this last night. I die cut this early so that you wouldn't have to wait for me to do that, right? But I also want to give you a little tip here. So I just put a little bit of glue on some of these. I'm going to put my cookies right down in here. Now, when you die cut, whoops, when you die cut your word, you're going to get an eye. And here comes my eye. I set it on the windowsill so that I wouldn't lose it. I thought that was pretty genius, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue. I'm gonna take my take your pick tool and add, hope oh, that didn't work out. I didn't have enough glue on there. Hang on. I'm gonna add just a teeny weeny little dot of glue here. And then of course I got a glue booger. You guys ever get those? Yeah, it's kind of gross, right? Hang on, there we go. And now I'm gonna set that little tiny die in there that gives me the top to my eye. Don't forget your eye. Or you could use a rhinestone in place of the eye. Okay, we can now start putting this together. Here comes our card front. We're gonna add some dimensionals to they are. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you're losing it? <laughs> Where'd they go now? Nope, we're not going to get cranky. 
nothing to be cranky about. So I get to keep Val overnight tonight, and she, this is the first time she will stay overnight without her mom and dad with her. So wish me luck, people. I hope it goes well. I think it will because she absolutely adores me, and of course, what's not to adore, right? <laughs> What did you say? Did you know the name for the dot is an I O S A, just a title? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Okay, we're gonna put this right down here and then we're gonna grab our cookie and we're gonna add a dimensional just to way over to one side, okay? Because I don't want it to interfere with where I'm going to place it. And I'm gonna put my cookie right here. Oh my good Lord, is that not adorable? Now, we're gonna take some of our holiday rhinestones and we've got all different colors on this card, right? So I'm going to put one here and then I'll do a little light blue one maybe right there and a little dark blue. Well, let's get a big dark blue. We'll put a big dark blue right there just for that little bit of bling. What do you guys think? Isn't it cute? Yay! What did Mary Lynn say? Something. Hang on, let me see. There's Mary Lynn. An organized craft room is a sign of a sick mind. <laughs> oh my good lord, you're hilarious and I love you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Okay, now on the inside, what I want to do <laughs> is, so on the front we have today's plan, consume cookies. Now, you can do any of these, consume coffee, consume cocktails, consume chocolate. But today's plan is to consume cookies, and I'm doing the early espresso, and I'm going to put, because adulting is hard, right? That's just a cute little saying. I'm going to come in with early espresso ink again and put another one of those cookies here. Super cute card, right? Okay, let me close this beast up. And let's see, I'm gonna set all my ink pads over there because I think I'm gonna need them again. But we have to clean our stamps because I don't wanna mess any of my ink pads up. I have enough problems, believe me. Okay. Here we go. Set this off to the side. Here are all of our dimensions. I've also written down the name of the dies and the color of the ink that I used here so you can, at a glance, it'll be very easy for you. Okay, <clears throat> who's ready for bingo? Game number two, tiny hands. Let's put them on the right fingers, not the naughty fingers. Here we go. And we are going to go with our first number is 11. Who has an 11? I want to see some bees coming up. Bees, bees. Let's get those bees in there. I love that. Mary Lynn, it's a sign of a sick mind. Oh, you're just the best. Number 22. 22. We've got 11 and 22. Let's see some B-I's. Who's got some B-I's? Not B-O. Nobody wants to spell that. <laughs> we smelled some of that yesterday or Monday at Great America. It was not pretty. Can I just say that there were, it's a great place to watch people. There were the craziest dressed people there. It was just insane. Do we have any B-I-N's? Shake up those numbers. We got a 20. We got new numbers coming out. I did shake these numbers. Um, yeah, there were people dressed like clowns. I mean, it was so ridiculous. And I just wanted to say, honey, ain't nobody should be wearing that. Nobody. It was ugh, just disturbing. Are we ready? 15. And I always say, when I see somebody dressed ridiculously, it's like you don't have any friends who were at your house before you left, right? Because they would have said, oh, yeah, you don't need to go outside in that. But whatever, right? Who am I to be all judgy? But they were ridiculous. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> it was madness at Great America. Believe me, mental health is in very good shape. <laughs> Mary Lynn, yay you. 
if you saw my room right now, well, it's actually not that bad, but earlier today it was, it was horrible as I was getting all those kids together. That's a kind of a big job. <laughs> Number 25. Come on, you guys. B-I-N-G. B-I-N. Let's get a bing, 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 bing. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, Terry's got B-I-N. You go, girl. Come on. Nina's got B-I. Here it comes. Number 19. The hot dog set. That's a really cute stamp set. Oh, we got D. D with a B-I-N. Go D. Connie's got a B. Kathy's got a B. Lee's got a B. Janice's got a B. Maureen's got a B. Here we go. Number seven. Lucky seven. Did you guys know that next Wednesday is, guess whose birthday it is? <laughs> this girl. It's my birthday. <laughs> Yay me. I think I'm going to be 56 years old and I don't feel a day over 35. Well, maybe 40. Monday I felt about 90, but you know, <laughs> it happens, right? Yeah. Woohoo. Happy early birthday. Thank you guys so much. I have so many people that have the same birthday as me. You know what though? On my team, I have way more people that have a birthday on tomorrow, which is my daughter Haley's birthday. She's going to be 20, maybe 26, maybe 27. So she, you guys do the math. She's born in 94. Isn't that terrible? So I don't even know. Yeah. I'm still a baby. Mary Lynn says, I love you, Mary Lynn. Not only about the crazy mind thing. <laughs> Number two. Who's got a two? Come on, two. Oh, Diana's birthday month. Happy belated birthday, Diana. Vicky, I know Vicky, yours is on the seventh. There's one more person with a birthday on the seventh on my team, too. I can't remember who it is, but um, I was loading up birthdays today. <laughs> my birthday month starts tomorrow. Yes, it does. So here's what we're going to do. Are we ready? Let's do a bingo. One. Number one. Um, this weekend we're supposed to have a big party on Saturday. My husband's sister is home from San Diego. And Diana was June 7th. You're very welcome. B-I-N-G. Debbie. Yay. B-I-N-G. Debbie is a big winner on the Stamp Happy Academy premium live Facebook group. Debbie entered a card challenge and she was awarded a bundle today. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's, we need, yeah, we need some unicorn. So congratulations, Debbie. Yeah, she's getting the Quiet Meadow bundle. It's going to be on its way. Yay! With your bingo kit. I'm sending it with your kit. Okay. I'm a young whippersnapper, Judy says. Okay, number 12. Woohoo! Number 12, number 12. You know, my mom is 76 and she still does all the things, right? <laughs> I pulled all your numbers and you're pouting because Mary Lynn isn't playing today. <laughs> Mary Lynn, you make sure you get in next month. Ready? Ready, guys? Ready? We don't have a bingo yet. Here it comes. Number 24. Come on. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're going to have a bingo. Come on. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Kathy's got a B-I. Trish's got a B-I-N. All right. Here we go. Janice's got a B-I-N. D's got a B-I-N-G and so does Denise. Ready? Are you guys ready? Here it comes. Number nine. Bingo. Anybody? Anybody got a bingo? Bingo, bingo, bingo. Boop, 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 boop. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I won't sing for you. I don't sing well. At my church, they paid me not to be in the chorus choir. <laughs> I just say that. Nobody paid me anything. I actually paid the church. <laughs> well, I did. Tuition and, um, you know, every Sunday. 10. Who's got a 10? Who has a 10? 
Bingo, 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 bingo. Come on, we got a lot of B-I-N-G's. Come on, you guys, yay. Tina, B-I-N. Terry, B-I-N-G. Lots of B-I-N's. We got Seal, B-I-N. Ah, oh, Denise, yay. Denise has a bingo. Let me look up Denise. Let me let's go. Um, here it is. It's under the basket that I can't find the dimensionals in, right? Here we go. Denise, Denise, Denise. Let's see. D E N. One, we got one seven. Where's number one? One seven. Okay, one seven. Denise, Denise. 10, 11, and 12. 11, 10, 12. We have a winner. Denise is the winner. Oh my goodness. Who else? Denise, Denise. Okay, good. <laughs> Connie says Denise has bingo, and I, I just saw bingo, and I thought, oh my good lord, there's a whole bunch of bingos. But Denise. Yay, Denise! Let's do a little unicorn action. What? What? Yay! Way to go, Denise. Okay, so let me get my tiny hands off. And we're going to take all of these out, and we're going to shuffle them up. You guys see me doing it, right? I want everything to be fair and square and even Steven. Here we go. I'm gonna throw these back in here because we need to stamp. Okay, next up. Um, where's my next card? Here we go. Card number three. Yay! And here it comes. Card base, front layer. Oh, I have to tell you guys a really funny story about when I was making this card last night, some funny things happened. <laughs> I don't know if they're really appropriate, but I'm going to tell you about them anyways. I don't want anybody getting mad at me because this really happened. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes we just have to laugh, right? Um, where did my piercing mat go? Right here. Okay, here we go. We have Gorgeous Gray. This is a card base, half a sheet. It is our thick, basic white cardstock. And then we are going to take a piece of our rainbow glimmer paper. Oh wait, we're not ready for that. We're gonna take this and we're gonna stamp on it. That's why we have the gorgeous grape out here. Now, I was going to take the word cocktails and I was gonna just randomly stamp it all over this layer, right? But what happened when I started doing that is I did this, right? Does anybody want to see that on their card? I think answer's no. So then I decided to take it a different way. So I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to stamp cocktails. Now I'm using Gorgeous Grape. Let me get my hair out of there. Gorgeous Grape ink. Whoops, darn it. I might have to get a new piece. Hang on, let me get this lined up so I can, my seat in it, stamp all the way. Oh, perfect. Okay. Whew, I'm a professional. Don't worry. I did cocktails at the top, cocktails at the bottom. Then I did cocktails in the middle. And then I just filled in in between. Okay. So that's how I lined this up. Looks pretty good, right? <laughs> I'm glad you guys are laughing over that one because it really did happen to me. And I didn't even get the tea on there. And I'm like, oh my Lord, we can't have that. That will never fly. Nobody wants to see that on there card, right? Okay, so we're going to do that. And then also in the nothing's better than we have this tiny little whatever you call that little star thing. And again, this is a very retro little set. So I'm just going to you have to be dainty when you stamp this too. And you see that I have ink on my block, I'm going to wipe that off. So I don't tilt my block down and make a mess on my card. Okay. And I'm just going to go through here and stamp this just to add that little sparkle. I guess that's what it is. It's kind of like a little sparkle deal. Oh, see what I did? Yeah, we're going to cover that up. Don't worry. But you want to be careful that you don't do that. Oh, that's a mess. Well, it'll have to do. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay. Next, I'm going to add a piece of the rainbow glimmer paper. This is two and a half by three and three quarters. And I'm going to put that right over here. Isn't that just stunning colors? It's really, really pretty. Yeah, we are going to cover up that mistake, so don't worry. 
and we're gonna leave a border around the three sides. Beautiful! Okay, then we've got this little square. This little square is one and a half by two and three quarters. And what I did is I took my stamp and I mounted two stamps on there. Today is a, and then kind of day. So we are going to use Memento Black ink. And I'm gonna stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna stamp this way over at the top left and then that's gonna go right there. Clean this off. Now, you're gonna need, oh shoot, before you put this together, before you put this on here, you're going to want to take, I forgot about this part, the cocktails. Hang on just a second, let me get this out of the way. <laughs> did you see how I did that? That's chocolate, this is cookies, here's our cocktails. You're gonna take the cocktails, so, and you're gonna put it on your purple, purple your great paper, and you're gonna die cut this first before you add this, okay? So that's how you're gonna get a purple cocktails, okay? So don't forget to do that. I have to make sure I put that in the instructions too because I don't want you to glue it down unless you have purple paper and then by all means, you'll be able to do that if you mess up like I just did. Okay, so we've got our cocktails here. And then we, oh, we're gonna need another die here. Yeah, Mary Lynn says, no mistakes, just creative challenges. That is exactly right, Mary Lynn. You are just full of words of wisdom, my friend. Okay, good Lord. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a scrap and we are going to um, use Memento ink and I'm going to stamp my little glass. Isn't that cute? I love little foo-foo drinks. This looks like a pina colada or perhaps um, a Miami Vice. Oh, delightful. Those are my cruise drinks. Hang on, I'm missing uh, a stamp set. What was I gonna do here? Hmm, I don't know, where did my stamp set go? Or my ink pad, I mean, not stamp set. To put it away. Let's get that. Here comes my melon, my melon mambo. Okay, now again we have the two step stamping. So I've got this, this, and this. Even has ice cubes in it, you guys. Melon mambo. And then we've got our little umbrella, and we're gonna use Coastal Cabana for that. so cute and mango melody this is going to be for our little citrus slice you can make it any kind of citrus you want isn't that cute now we're going to die cut this die cut and when we do that here's what we end up with super cute right Oh, Debbie, I'm so happy you could join. Late is better than never, right? Okay, then we're going to take our cocktails and I'm gonna add a little glue to the back. Now, if you were smart, you would use a like a sponge or a sponge dauber to put your glue on here, but I'm lazy. And, or you could use the adhesive sheets and die cut that on here, but I can never remember to do that. So, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put that cocktails right here in the middle of our little layer. So I can get that to stick on there. And again, you guys, I set my little dot from my eye on there, which is called something, but I couldn't really read it. <laughs> but thank you for telling me that. Learn something new every day, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I just lost it. Oh, good Lord. Huh, well, so we're gonna fix that right now. And we're just gonna take, 
a rhinestone and we're going to put it right on there. There we go. Okay, hang on, i got to get some of that glue off of there. There we go. <laughs> um, I had my little purple dot from when I die cut this and then I lost it. So don't sweat the small stuff, right? Like Mary Lynn says, it's just a creative challenge. And then we're going to put dimensionals on the back of here. Maybe I'll put one in the middle. It's probably a little overkillish. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna take my little glass here and I'm gonna put a mini dimensional right down here on my stem. And then another one. I'm doing some strategic placing because when I put it on the card, I need it to be in certain places. So here we go. One, two, three. Boy, that's a lot of dimensionals for this layer, right? But you're gonna get a whole pack, so I'm gonna put, see, I'm gonna cover up that little mistake right there. I'm gonna do this like this, and then, Wanda, we are so glad you're here. And yes, you can always watch the replay. Hang on, I just ripped that dimensional. Oh, I ripped both of them right off. Well, I must not have pressed them down very good, huh? Let's try that again. And maybe I need to just take a little sliver for that bottom. That's what we have edges for, right? Exactly. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my little fufu drink glass, and I'm going to tuck it right down in here. So that's why I didn't want any dimensionals to interfere with that resting on my sentiment layer. Okay? All right. Then, we've got one rhinestone on here. We need a few more. And I think I'll just put one right there. And maybe... Da, 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 I've got a red one. Let's do... How about a green one? Right up there. Yay! Isn't that pretty? Okay, where's our card base? Right here. Now, I want to do something to the inside. So before we glue anything together, I'm going to find... Yep. Yep. And I'm going to use my purple ink. And that's, this says, whoops, <laughs> this says, today is a cocktails kind of day, and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too. <laughs> so, who doesn't need a card like that from time to time? This is a card that you can just send to a friend for no reason, or you can send to somebody who needs a little pick-me-up. I always enjoy doing that. I sent out three cards today. People that I found out were experiencing difficulties. And a lot of times I find out on Facebook when something like that is happening. And so I will grab their address and uh, get them a card out in the mail just to help brighten or ease their whatever anxiety. Look how pretty that is. Now I see my, um, this is a three quarter inch by five and a half inch strip. I can see it sticking over here and that will never make me happy. I'm kind of weird that way. Look how pretty! The glimmer paper, right? It just is amazing. Yay! Okay, here is the dimensions for that card. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way because you know what time it is now. It is bingo time! Clean my stamps up here. Get all my fruit cleaned up. Okay. So we have two super cute cards using the Nothing's Better Than bundle. Gosh, I, I do. I just love this bundle. It's so much fun. All right. Here's card number two, I'll put that here. I can take pictures and I don't wanna lose my dimensionals again. Gosh, I look like a hot mess, right? <laughs> Let's get our tiny hands on. 
It's official bingo time. Oh, by the way, did I tell Denise that what she won? Um, she wins a $75 gift certificate. I lost my sheet now with all my numbers on it. Connie knows what each person gets. Here we go. Yep, you won a $75 gift certificate. Now we're buying for a $100 gift certificate. So get your bingo luck on right now, and we're going to go with number 23. 23. I'm feeling good about this, you guys. I'm feeling really good about it. Woohoo! Yes, Kathleen, get out that nothing's better than. We have Connie and Maureen right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. Here we go. Number 19. 19. Woohoo! Well, hi, Janet. I'm happy you're here. <laughs> We have number 11, number 11, woohoo! Number 11, what are you guys drinking tonight? I got my strawberry lemonade, all refilled before I came up here. Steve made, hang on, I'll give another number, 15. Steve had, he bought some um, skewers of shrimp for the grill. And then he does this a lot. He buys something and he has these grand intentions, but then he doesn't do it. <laughs> Diana H2O, boring. Pinot Grigio, oh, Dottie. Wah, wah, wah. Sparkling ice. Number two, he has this grand idea that he's gonna make stuff and then he leaves it sit in the refrigerator too long. So I have to kind of remind him. So when he showed me those the other day, yesterday, I said, uh, don't leave those lay around too long because shrimp will not last very long, right, in the refrigerator. Number 12. So, oh, we got Janet grabbed a beer, long day babysitting. Yep, I'm going to have, I hope I don't have a long night. I can't wait to snuggle with Val tonight. I might just sleep with her. I don't know where yet. <laughs> and anyways, he made those today. He took them off the skewer and he fried them up in olive oil and garlic. And oh my good Lord, they were lemon pepper and basil. They had some seasonings on them. They were so good. So I had that for lunch. And then tonight for supper, I had a taco. So I will be starving tonight. Blackberry, black raspberry sparkling ice. <laughs> Kathy says that I do not have her numbers in that jar. Kathy Ty, I want to see what your numbers are. Not that I can do anything about it. Number 13. 13. Ooh, D has B I N. Yay, D. Janice with the B I N. Janice with the B I N. Here comes number seven. Woohoo! Number seven. You guys, come on, come on, come on. There's a B-I-N-G, Janice. Go Janice, go Janice. Yeah. Here we go. Number 16. Come on. Let's get, oh, Donna Johns has a bingo. Donna, yay. Okay, let's do a double check. Donna Johns. We got a seven. Boy, that didn't take long. An 11, a 12, a 13, and a 19. We do have a winner. Yay, Donna! Donna, you are the winner of a $100 gift certificate from me. Woohoo! Unicorn action. See how the unicorn just follows the hand? makes me say stupid things like that. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Whoops. Hang on. All of our numbers sufficiently jumbled up for our next game. Up we go. Tiny hands. Take a little rest by the unicorn. Okay. Next up. Um, hang on. I got to put this away got so carried away with the bingo. Congratulations, Donna. So funny little story. I have two team members on my team 
named Donna Johns. So I always say Donna Johns, Missouri, Donna Johns, um, Georgia, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so we did one, two, three. Okay, now we have two more cards. Ooh, I think we're going to do this one first. So also as an add-on available for you to purchase if you did not already have it is the Seascape bundle. And there's a bunch of dies, but they're all out right now, and I'll be showing them all to you. The only ones I didn't use are these two little fishies. So, and they would certainly look cute on the inside of the car. But the ski Seascape set is so much fun. The dies are beautiful. We're gonna be using this big koi fish, at least that's what I think it is. It's like a big goldfish. And we are going to be using Mango Melody. Now, the nice thing about ordering the pre-cut cardstock pack with your bingo and, and actually playing the bingo, right, for prizes, is that I will be embossing all of these layers. I tried to get Molly to do it today, but she was having none of it. <laughs> I did have her working in here late last night. She die cut all of these. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, she would have none of the embossing today. So I'm going to, you'll get all of these, your white layer will be embossed with the shells embossing folder, which is this beautiful 3D embossing folder. I thought that would look pretty cool with the goldfish. So, and now I'm combining the um, biggest wish stamp set with the seascape stamp set. So you're going to get lots of use out of these. And here comes our stamps. Okay, so I've already embossed this in that shells embossing folder. Um, this is three and three quarters by five. Then I've got Mango Melody here that is four by five and a quarter. And this is our basic white thick card base. Let's see, do I have a, let me see if I have a higher. Nope. I want to make sure my light is this high. It doesn't seem like it's as bright as it should be. There we go. It wasn't. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay, so when I'm using the thick white card bases, um, I do recommend that you burnish, or I'm sorry, that you score them at four and a quarter so that they will fold nicely. And I always score these. The rest, the other kinds of cardstock is not as thick as the thick white, so you don't really have to on those. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my embossed layer and put it on my Mango Melody layer. Gosh, I can't keep my hair out of my mouth. Just making me crazy because the fan is blowing, but I don't want to start dripping sweat all over our projects. So, <laughs> gross, right? I haven't heard a peep out of little Miss Val downstairs. So Rachel must be really entertaining her. And Rachel is my friend and she loves the babies. And she actually, I messaged her today. I'm like, oh my gosh, can you come help me tonight? I have bingo and I have supposed to have bow. And, uh, and she's like, yep, no problem. Because I know she loves the babies. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do here, I'm going to take that um, early espresso. And then we've got mango. Okay, we're going to take the friend stamp. And I want to make sure this is clean before I stick it in my mango. We're going to stamp that friend stamp right there. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? I love the font on these. And again, this is from The Biggest Wish. If you guys don't have the stamp set, get it. I'm not even, I'm not even going to like mince words about it. You just need it. It's amazing. And then I'm going to stamp. Oh, that says happy. Huh. What do I want? I want hello. Where's my hello? Can anybody see it? Well, it's not in here. Oh, yeah, there's. I wonder why I put it away. Oh, no, that says friend. Does anybody see hello? Oh, it must be in something else. Is, is it in here? Oh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> oh, my good lord. <laughs> oh, Jackie is looking forward to getting this bundle. Yes, it is so cool. I really do like it. Okay, now we're gonna go with early espresso. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stamp it up in the top right corner. This is just a scrap, you guys. So let me move it closer to me so I can see what's going on here. 
I just want to try and get it straight so I don't have to cut. I only have to cut two sides instead of all four. Does that make sense? Because now I'm just going to trim that with my um, paper snips. Okay. Let's put this this away. Now, I'm going to take this oops, and I am going to just cut it out and I'm cutting it out straight just like that. That's all I've done. Okay. Now with this one, you know, I really like when we cut around words. I just think it's a really neat look. It's a very trendy right now to do this with our words. And it's not hard. Notice how I'm turning my paper when I do it. I don't really move my scissors around much. It's the paper as I'm turning and twisting it, makes it easier to cut out. So if you feel like you're challenged when you're cutting out stuff like this, try doing that. Move your paper. Look at how cute that is. Okay, here's our hello. Now what we're gonna do with this is we're going to come in here and we're going to put this on some dimensionals. Did anybody see my dimensionals? Here they are. <laughs> I knew I'd lose them again. So I've got dimensional here, dimensional here. Oh, you know what I did? I did it again. That's why I don't have a goldfish cut out. You need to cut it out of this layer before you put it on your card, and I completely forgot. So I hope you guys do better than I do. Read the written instructions. I will have that in there. Doggone it. Bingo Melody. Here we go. I just have another scrap here, so we'll do that. Hang on, I'll be right back. You want to make sure when you put this through on this layer that you keep your fish away from the edges so that you're not going to see that die cut out of there. One of the really neat things about this die is that it doesn't cut this out all the way and that confused me at first. I'm like why is it cutting out all the way? And I actually um, learned that on the other one of the other dies in the set. It doesn't cut it out all the way because you can just pop this up like this and you can put this as your card layer and it's got that fabulous dimension. Hang on while I try, oh, here we go. I'm trying to find my tick your pick tool with the die brush on the end. So, whoops, did you see what I just did? I'm gonna put this in here, get all the bits and pieces out. And they just, this is a really nice die for the most part. These just fall right out of here. Okay, but now, now what, right? It, it, it's not die cut all the way. So if you wanted to use it like this as a, on, a, on a layer on your card, that's fine. But I don't, I want it die cut. So I'm just going to bring in my paper snips and you can see that it's still connected right here. So I just cut that. I'm just going to snip these little parts that are keeping it connected to my card base. And that's what you're going to do. Make sure you're careful with this so you don't ruin this layer because it is one of the layers on the front of your card. And last snip. And here's our cute little goldfish. Isn't that neat? Yay. Okay. Beta fish, yes, it could be a beta fish. It could be um, a koi fish. It could be just a giant gold, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but here comes our hello. So I'm gonna put our hello um, right about here. 
Then I'm going to come in with the friend. And again, I want the friend to be on dimensionals, but I have to be careful because I'm going to layer it on there. So I'm going to take just a couple slivers of my mini dimensionals here to put on the back of my friend layer so that they don't interfere with my hello. Does that make sense? You guys know what I mean, right? So I'm going to put dimensionals down at the very bottom of my friend. <laughs> and, okay, that's good. That's good. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue Yep, on my D and at the top of my friend. Does that make sense? Now, I'm gonna pull this over here and add this right under my hello. Isn't that just charming? I really like that look. Now we're gonna take our goldfish and we're going to add some mini dimensionals. And I'll put one right there. Put them wherever you can fit them. And I think Three is going to be plenty on here. And we're going to kind of bring this in just like that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, a little bit of something, something on the inside. I am going to grab my Sahara sand and this stamp from the Seascape. I'm gonna stamp this off once because I don't want it to be super dark, but I'm just going to stamp this just like that. So we have a little bit of coral or whatever you wanna call that coming in there. <gasps> Look at that, isn't that just cute? I love it. What do you guys think? Yay! Okay, next up. We have one more card. Let me put this away. Where'd my die envelope go? Right here. I'm going to throw this in here so I can show you. We're going to use the rest of the dies on the last card. Okay. Is it bingo time? I think it's bingo time. You like the beta fish. Thank you, Carolyn. I do too. I think it's super, super cute. Okay, put this back over here. And hang on, I just dropped my dimensionals. That'll send me right into a hot flash. <laughs> All right, I think we're ready. Get my tiny hands out. Doo -doo -doo. And where's our jar? Where's our jar? You saw me shake all these up, right? You saw me shake them all up. Here we go. Number four is our first bingo number. And this one, this is our fourth game. And it is worth $150. So you will get to choose $150 of anything you want. Number 20. Number 20. Yay! Next up, number five, number five. <laughs> Donna says she's babysitting her daughter's beta fish named Dallas. I love it. The things we won't do, right? <laughs> number 18, number 18. Come on, give me a B, give me an I, give me an N. B I N. Here comes our next one, number 10, yay! Number 10, oops, hang on. All of this, number 10. Here comes number nine, number nine, and that has a B-I-N. Excelente! Oops, hang on. We got a four, a 20, a five, an 18, a 10, and a nine. And here comes number 13, number 13. Woohoo! Number 13. 
And next up, I'm going to give you guys just a second, because I know sometimes people's um, streaming is a little slower. Deb Prantel with a B-I-N. Seal's got a B-I-N. Kathy Ty. Kathy, you can't say that you, I my, your numbers aren't in the jar. <laughs> Number 11. Let's see a B-I-N-G. We Do we have a B-I-N-G? 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 Do, 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 do. Here comes a B-I. Shauna's got a B-I. comes our next one. Ready? 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 22. 22. So, let's get a bingo. Let's get a bingo. We got a B-I-N. Sandra. comes our next one. Ready? Ready? B-I-N-G. Babe's got a B-I-N-G. comes our next one. <gasps> 25. Do, 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 B-I-N-G, come on, Sandy's got a B-I, we got Nanette with a B-I-N-G, Seal's a B-I-N-G, Nina with a B-I, D with a B-I, come on ladies, Terry's got a B-I-N-G, comes our next one, 16, woohoo, 16, let's hear it for 16. Number 16. Okay, we're gonna draw another one here. I don't have a bingo yet. Here it comes, here it comes. Number two! Who's got a number two? We got a B-I, a B-I-N-G. Sandy's got a B-I-N-G. Who's got Bingo. Anybody, anybody, anybody. Randy's got a B-I-N-G. Tracy a B-I-N. Connie's on the board with Susan and a B. <laughs> yeah, Connie probably can't even watch her numbers. She's being our bingo boss. <laughs> Tina's on with a B. Here's the next one, number six. Come on, come on. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Do, 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 do. B B I N G O G O. Bing, bing. Tracy's got a bing. Tina's got a B I. Now we're on a roll, Tina. You can do it. You can do it. Here comes number 14. Who's got a 14? Who's got a 14? Donna's got a B I N. B I N. Nobody? Oh! Nanette, we have Nanette with a win. Nanette, congratulations. Oh, we gotta do this. Nanette, $150 gift certificate. Now, for all of you that won bingo tonight, you're all winners, right? But for those of you that won bingo tonight, all you have to do is email me and let me know what you would like. You're going to email me your address and you are going to email me, hang on, I'm gonna grab, let's do this. Okay, so, address, email me your name and address and item code, name, and dollar amount of the items that you would like to order with your gift certificates. If Now, you can go over your allotted amount, but the amount that you won, like for example, the net won the $150. If she orders $150 in product, you still have tax and shipping on top of that. I will invoice you through PayPal for any balance over what you won. Yeah, so just know you can go over, you can order more than what you're allotted, and um, I'll just bill you for the rest. Oh, Connie, I forgot to check her numbers. <laughs> I was so excited for Nanette. Thank you very much, Connie. That's why you're the bingo boss, not me. <laughs> okay, you guys, we have one more card to make, and I just know you're gonna love this. It is a super fun layout. Um, 
Yeah, Connie is good. She is so good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Connie's saying she is good. Sorry, I thought somebody else was saying how good Connie is. And we know how good Connie is. All right, here we go. This is fun. This particular card is going to use the infamous horsefish. <laughs> Did you guys hear the story about the horsefish? So um, my friend Dina was using this on a video and she goes, and then we're going to use this, like the, um, what, uh, the horse, you know, like a uh, horse fish. She couldn't remember that it's called a seahorse. So it will be forever known as the horse fish. <laughs> and we're going to use the coral, which is also part of this fabulous set of dyes. This is called sea life dyes. And this is what you get in here. These are fantastic. Now, again, this one, like the fish, there are certain areas that do not die cut out on here. So you have to snip it a little bit to get it off of the layer you're die cutting it from, okay? But what we're gonna do, we're going to do a little bit of, oops, where's my, ooh, I think I missed a piece, hang on. Yeah, I did. Um, I'm missing the one and a quarter by four and a quarter coastal cabana. Show. Hang on, I'm gonna get that out. Get our handy dandy paper trimmer in here. Uh, four and a quarter. By one and a quarter. That was my scrap. I'm like, what? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to, this is Coastal Cabana, half a sheet, eight and a half by five and a half. And we're just going to get that edge burnished nicely. Then we've got this black layer. And what I'm gonna do with this, and it's completely up to you if you wanna do this or not, but I am going to offset this a little bit. And this is four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to do, you want to make sure that it's all the way on the card. You don't want it sticking too far off the edge. You know, you can't have it off the edge or it won't fit in an envelope. But we're going to do that. Then we're going to take a three and three quarters by five inch white piece and our Sahara sand ink. I'm going to grab this, like, cor um, this is a coral. This is like some type of sea life. I don't know what it is, but. I stamped it off once with the Sahara sand. I'm gonna stamp it and then I'm gonna do it again, stamp off, and we're gonna put it right over here, okay? Then we have this really fun sand that we're going to put right down here. And I'm gonna stamp and then stamp again. Ink it up, stamp and then stamp again. So we've just got kind of some sand down there on the bottom. You could go all the way across if you want. I didn't want to. And then we are going to let me grab. Oh my gosh, I got such a pile of stuff over here. You'd be shocked. Well, Mary Lynn wouldn't, but <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to grab my paper, and we're going to take that horse fish, <laughs> and I put it like kind of right here on a layer. So I wanted a little bit of purple all the way down to the green on my horse fish. And then we are going to end up with this. And remember, there's gonna be a little cutting here and here. Um, so you can get this out of this, this layer, right? Because it doesn't die cut it all the way. And you can see that I looked at this, I'm like, what the heck's going on? But right here, there's no cut line, so it doesn't die cut there and there. And I think those are the only two places. So anyways, you're gonna just snip it with your paper snips. And then I'm going to take the coral piece and I'm going to die cut that right down here. So I put that right down here. So I'm gonna get lots of yellow and a little bit of orange at the tips on this paper, okay? 
So I use this one. And once you do that, you're going to have this beauty. Isn't that fun? Yeah, a little bit of orange at the top. I just thought it was really pretty. All right, I'm gonna close this up. And we need to add this right to the front of our card. So we'll get that on here. And again, I'm just going to kind of stagger this. So I don't want it real straight. I want it kind of, let's get that a little more staggered. I don't want it to look like an accident either. I want it to look like I meant it to be like that. <laughs> then I'm going to take and put a little bit of glue on the back of my coral. And I'm going to bring that right down here. And I'm going to have it sticking off my white a little bit, okay? I did that on purpose because I think that just draws some really neat interest over here. Now we're going to take this little one and a quarter inch layer. Let me put these away before I lose them. Nobody wants to lose their horsefish. Okay, I'll put that over here. And now we're going to grab that happy. This is the happy, oops, that's not the happy I want. This is the birthday that I want and the happy. Okay, and this is from The Biggest Wish. Costa Cabana. You're gonna stamp your birthday way over here. Oops, that's crooked, I don't like that. Let's try that again. Much better. And then we're gonna use the memento to do the happy in the curse of Friday. Oops, hang on, I've got kind of a mess going on here. Must have a little bit too much ink in my ink pad. Let's try that again. That looks better. And we're gonna put that over up right on the B-I-R. Look at how cute that is, right? I just love the way you can stamp over top of these. Now, we're gonna take this and add it right to the front of our card. Put that just on here, fairly close to the top. Now, this, is, this layer is as wide as your card front. So we're gonna do it just like that. Then we're gonna bring our horse fish in. <laughs> that so that his face comes right up here into our sentiment banner. Oh my gosh, is that not super, super cute? Make sure I got that straight. And then we're going to add some of our rhinestones if we know what we did with them. Anybody? Here they are. I think this is actually a different pack of them than what I was using before, but whatever, right? <laughs> We're going to, I'm gonna take the um, gold ones, or the yellow ones. I think those are gonna look really neat. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Isn't that cool? Now we've got one more thing to do here, and that is to take the, whatever these kind of leaves are called. Can you tell I don't live um, by sea life? I mean, like, we don't live by the sea, so I don't know all the things. Oh, we don't want to stamp off. Sorry, I thought we were going to stamp off, but we're not. So I'm going to ink this with Coastal Cabana ink, and I'm just going to stamp that right there. And then maybe do it one more time, just like that. So it just gives some interest to the inside there. What do you guys think? Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get this out of the way. I'm gonna bring all these cards back in here. And then I wanted to tell you guys again, for those of you that ordered the pre-cut cardstock packs, I will 
hopefully get my order in on Friday. It's scheduled to arrive on Friday and I will get them turned around just as quickly as possible. Look at how fun these are. I have all these instruction sheets on the back. That's what these dumb pieces of paper are. Yeah. And of course you can do yours in whatever color or both colors, but you're gonna get you're gonna get probably well just one of these. The white one with all the black, and you'll have the glimmer paper. But um, you can choose whatever color you want to make. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for being part of my bingo tonight. And I wanted to tell you, we will be playing bingo again on July 28th. I have a um, alert in my phone to get bingo registration out on the 7th. So I don't like to have people register in the previous month because then when I run a PayPal report, it takes too much stuff happening in the previous month into the next month and it just gets very confusing. <laughs> I'm sure you can understand. So I like to wait just a little bit closer to the date. And um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. I'm super excited. I hope you guys have some good plans this weekend. Um, here in the United States, it's the 4th of July holiday weekend, and we are having a big party. There'll be about 25 people here. Well, it's not that big. Um, my husband's wife is, my husband's wife, that would be me. My husband's sister is, who is not his wife, <laughs> because that's illegal in Wisconsin. <laughs> Anyways, my husband's sister Pam's going to be home from San Diego, so we're going to have a little pool party on Saturday with all his side of the family. My mom is driving over tomorrow, um, and she lives a couple hours away because she's gonna go. We're gonna go out to eat for Haley's birthday, which is tomorrow, and then Saturday we're having a pool party. And Sunday I think we're planning on going up to Anna's Lake House, which is up in Shawano, about an hour away, um, on Legend Lake. So we're looking forward to spending a little time with the kids there too. So whatever you guys do. Please stay safe. Do not blow anything off like fingers or toes with the fireworks. Keep it under control. You hear about it every year. Don't do it. <laughs> Have fun. I love watching fireworks. However, nobody needs to get their fingers blown off. So be careful. They're dangerous. I am going to I hope Val is still awake. I don't even know what time it is. It's 8.30. She's probably sleeping already and I missed the whole thing. <laughs> but I get to wake up with her probably during the night, but at least in the morning. Haley's coming over. We're going to, I'm going to make buttermilk pancakes and bacon for breakfast and um, wish her a happy birthday. Oh my Lord, I should go get her some balloons. Yeah, I should. Bad mom, bad, bad. Okay. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. And I think I just, oh, no, I'm still going. I'm like, did I just cut off? Nope, I'm still going. <laughs> Husband's wife. Yeah, well, Ginny, you know, that's all confusing. Thank you, Connie. You are a fantastic bingo boss. Congratulations to our winners tonight. Um, winning is always fun, but just being together is a lot of fun, too. So, if you guys have any questions, watch for a PDF file coming with the link to this video and also um, some pictures and some written instructions. I don't even know. I don't think I'm going to do written instructions. I've got this right here, right? If I take a picture like that, will you guys be okay? I'm sure save me a lot of time because I think this is really all you need to know. What color ink did I use? And you can watch the video, right? Is that is that fair? I think that'll work. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, you guys, have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night. Thank you so much for being a part of Bingo. Bye-bye.